ahead of the 2020 regional elections, FCT Area Council's elections and the 2020 governorship elections in Ekiti, Anoshun states, the Independent National Electoral Commission has called on civil society organizations to intensify the sensitization of citizens on the continuous voter registration. This was made known to civil society organizations by the Umpire's chairman, Professor Mahmoud Yakubu, at the Commission's first consultative meeting with CSOs in Abuja. Yakubu said this was necessary as the Commission is right now undertaking the most comprehensive cleaning up of the data to ensure that only credible citizens are added to the voters' register for the 2023 general elections. Related to the issue of voter registration is the issuance of the PVCs. We are aware that Nigerians want to know when their PVCs will be available for collection. We appreciate the role of civil society organizations in encouraging and mobilizing eligible Nigerians who have not registered to do so. At the same time, we want you to continue to sensitize them that those who had registered at any time previously need not register again. For those who have completed the registration, the Commission is right now undertaking the most comprehensive cleaning up of the data to ensure that only eligible citizens are added to the voters' register for 2023 general elections. Also, the Executive Director Inclusive Friends Association of Nigeria, Grace Jerry, taxed INEC to put in place provisions for persons living with disabilities to have access to the polling units. Moving forward to 2022, so much already has begun. We're already faced with the, um, the area council election that is just 24 days away, and also Ikitian election and the by-elections coming. All hands needs to be on deck. Every support uh, from the civil society organization towards ensuring that these elections are conducted successfully and credibly and peaceful. All hands need to be on deck. I would like to draw the attention of the commission especially to um, ensuring that um, citizens get their, uh, their permanent voter card on time. One of the challenges that we met during the Anambra election was that um, voters were not able to access their permanent voter card in good time. And this is an area that we would like the Commission to look into seriously, so that citizens would be able to vote and uh, ensure that they, they exercise their franchise. I also would like to um, call on the need for INEC to ensure that this election is inclusive. I don't know what the deployment plan is yet, but it is important that the deployment plan doesn't just stop at all several elections and also national elections. But for the FCT area council election, we want to see persons with disabilities come out and vote effectively, vote on aided, and vote, ensure that they exercise their franchise as well. However, both INEC and CSO are hopeful that the speedy passage of the electoral amendments bill by the National Assembly and the assent by the President would aid the ease of elections preparedness. Annie T. Patrick, Call TV News, Abuja.